With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Chronostone's Thunder Flash. In this episode, we take on Perfect Cascade for the second time here in Grievous Grotto in front of King Arthur and maybe Master Dragon, depending on what kind of happened to her. But um, yes, we will be getting straight into the match. We didn't manage to beat Perfect Cascade last time, but the score was at least competitive before the match got cancelled. So let's see what we can do as we take on RX as the Knights of the Round Table. You must, of course, have Ricardo and Goldie in your lineup. Goldie is not currently in your roster because she was kind of missing for most of the chapter. But um, yeah, Ricardo's a new one that you have to have. Obviously, Arian as well. We weren't told about that before because you cannot remove Arian from your team, but um, you certainly can remove the others. Mode change. Disengaging practice mode. Initiating hyperdrive mode. Wonderbot, look! They're... They aren't human! They're androids! Hyperdrive mode will allow us to perform to our maximum capacity. Your probability of victory is now zero, without deviation. So they're going to show us their full potential at last. We haven't maxim Miximax King Arthur's aura yet. This is going to be tough. And what's more, the Queen of Dragons has sunk beneath the lake. It couldn't get any worse. We've got to win this game. In the story, the Knights of the Round Table win. If we lose here, it's over. You mean, if we mess up the way things are supposed to go, then we won't be able to go back to our own world? Exactly. This match is one that we positively have to win. We have to win. Ricardo, do you really think I've got what it takes to be captain? What are you saying, Arion? Sometimes I feel like you'd make a better leader. It's probably obvious to everyone. I'm scared that this team won't be able to reach its full potential with me as the leader. Maybe it'd be better if you took over. Well, I don't think you're much of a leader, that's for sure. Rick's the one who's got what it takes. That's what I thought. But Arion, you're not the leader. You're the captain, remember? What do you mean? Well, I'm probably better at giving instructions to the team than you are. But there are things that you can do that I can't. Things that only you can do. Well, what kind of things? No, I don't answer me then. But, um, yeah, lads, did you not realize that they were androids before? I, th I thought it was pretty obvious from the whole robot voice and lack of emotion and everything, but... And the fact that we've already taken on a team of robots earlier in the game when we were in the China chapter. Well, they were clay mechanical things. They, they, yeah, they still count as robots. There was mechanics in there. Surf's up, dude. King Arthur and his brodacious knights of the round table are up to joust techno wizard's perfect cascade. Get ready for the world's first ever interdimensional football showdown. Time to kick off. Well, that we will. All right, kick to Victor. You're gonna go for goal, right? No. Initializing. Hyperdrive mode fully operational. Goalie, cover the defense. We'll do. What's up with Ryman? Perfect cascade and making them look like a bunch of greenhorn longboarders. Uh, why isn't it working? And RX is in full power, so I suggest you just keep out of the way and let them get the goal that they're after. Fair enough. I do, I do like the design change. I'm not sure if this whole full power hyperdrive mode actually makes much of a difference, but we'll let them give it a go. Oh, he could have at least shown us a proper special move, man. No. As 
You're definitely not androids, are you? It's no good. I'm no good. Sir Arian, what is it that vexes you so? I, I don't think I'm cut out to be a captain. I just don't have it in me to be a leader. I don't have what it takes. What is it exactly that you think you do not have? Well, the makings of a captain. And what is it a captain does exactly? The captain lifts everyone's spirits, gives orders on the pitch, and guides the team to victory. Or at least, he's supposed to. Open your eyes, Sir Arian. You should try to see in yourself what others see in you. Listen to your team. Do this, and you will surely find a way. Listen to my team? Arian, you still don't get it, do you? You don't understand your own strength. Huh? You support us through thick and thin, but that isn't your only strength. Right, you support us, we support you. When you worry, you worry with us. You're always there, always by our sides. When we stand together, we can take on anything. Yeah, that's what's so special about you, Captain. Don't you forget it. Thanks, everyone, but I... All right, <laughs> uh, but you what? You want to go into free play? That's what we're going to do. And tell you what, straight away, I'm going to mix the max Victor because I haven't actually done that since we got the thing. Normally, this is like your most used mix and match uh, transformation in the game because Victor's your ace striker and you tend to use him quite a lot. The goalkeeper is going to summon a fighting spirit right here, so I guess I will do the same to match that. With both in play, I wonder if I'll be able to beat it. This is a very good goalkeeper when he's armified. Not so excellent without it, but now oh, he's on full power, so I really did armify for nothing. But if I've gone to the bother of transforming, I at least want to see what Chrysanthemum Katana looks like again. It's 679 power in, in spirit. In reality, it was zero power. Uh, Keeper Command FS08. One of the fun things about Plasma Shadow, the artificial fighting spirit, is that pretty much all of his moves have that same animation, but uh, just a different thing pops out of the void in its chest, be it a hand or a boot or something else that's necessary to, to prevail. But um, yes, yeah, so this is a bit of an interesting one. I think we've just got to run down the first half until 30 minutes have passed while keeping the deficit. We're clearly not going to make it into a goal with the goalkeeper on full power, but um, we also, yeah, we can't score. We've just got to pass the time. I'm also going to mix and match Saw right here because I realise in hindsight I have not shown his defensive move either when he's mixed and matched because he kind of, he's already armified by the time you were, oh, well, that was a very poor way of showing that off. I was trying to pass it to Perfect Cascade so that I could then take the ball back with Saw, or at least pass to someone that's ahead of you. I have properly done a bad one here. I might be about to lose a goal for, well, thankfully, he didn't go for a special move. But, um, yeah, so Pterodactyl Swoop is the move that Saw gains when mixing max, but if he's... Yeah, he can't armify, he only has a regular fighting spirit, so we weren't likely to see that. Where even is he? I tell you what, here's a feature in the game that you can do. Uh, get fouled, <laughs> and then you can do pretty much whatever you like. Okay, let's um, pass, move him over there, pass to whoever that guy is. Uh, oh, that's not quite what I was after, but... I'm really doing a very poor job here of trying to give the ball away so that Saw can use Pterodactyl Swoop. He's probably going to run out of his mix and match soon before I've even succeeded in showing it off. I've just passed it straight to an Aryan opportunity instead. This has gone... I mean, it's going very well in terms of the match. I am not letting them score or even have possession of the ball, but I'm trying to give it to them. Strong enough to get the better of those perfect cascade droids. 
but I've got to do it somehow. I have to protect Faye. second forced mixy max of the game at that and it's always with the dragons but very nice indeed we can use obliteration when mix and matched that is a defensive move as well lim and mixy max is with the queen of dragons can ramen reverse the flow of perfect cascade tsunami in the second half well we'll see about that we may finally be able to score in this half your recent power increase was not factored into our predictions, therefore we will activate additional measures. What? You're finished. Oh, um, Armified RX, that's a bit of a scary one. He's not even engaging in command duels anymore, just getting straight to business. Gift weaves together the power of the people and forges it into a nation. 
and a nation can resist even the most powerful foe. Can that really happen? You support us through thick and thin, but that isn't your only strength. Do not forget about us. Arion may have Mixie Max with King Arthur, but we, Perfect Cascade, are still armor fight and unbeatable. See you in the next episode.